it doesn't clean itself up. It's still early. It's not too hot, but it's going to be it's going to be smoking hot today. So I uh, well, I got this, you know, I got that that thing, but I kind of set up a shade thing over there, which uh, I think I'm a, I haven't even had any coffee yet, so I'm gonna make some coffee. In fact, I'm I guess I'm gonna make breakfast. I guess that's what I'll do right now over there. This land that I'm that I come to, a guy just bought like a hundred acres next door and clear clear cut the whole thing. I've got horses out there now. But you know what I'm thinking? All the deer that were all the deer that were on his land are gonna come over here now. <laughs> Squirrels too. thing about this Colorado bushcraft bag is this it's got this uh, pocket in the front where you can you know like I keep my coffee in there you know Just remembered something. While I'm while I'm waiting for that, I got a, a little unboxing to do. <clears throat> Judd, he he has a um, Instagram. Well, I don't know, I'm, I'm still kind of new on this Instagram. I guess you call it Instagram page or whatever. Anyway, his Instagram page. And, uh, um, and a YouTube channel, uh, but he does, he does a lot more on Instagram. It's um, 
a, he lives in Georgia, is Southman Bushcraft. I won a, a flint striker that was donated to him for, to the giveaway from Beaver, Beaver Bushcraft, or Beaver Blacksmithing and Bushcraft something like that I, I don't I didn't know I didn't really know them until you know I started following her um, or them I guess it's a her I don't sorry I don't really know I mean it's an Instagram page that I started following and it um, looks like it's a, a bushcraft um, store kind of you know they get a lot of a lot of gear and things like that anyway I won I should turn this off. There's probably some more details in here. I'll... There's there's a lot more stuff in here than uh, than what what I thought I was getting. Uh, let, I'll move the camera so you can see as I see it. All right, all right. Let's get in. Uh, what I what I what I thought I won was a um, a, a flint striker, but I see he's put a few more things in here. Ah, uh, some char cloth material. That'd be cool. Oh, a Southman Bushcraft patch. Oh, I hope you can see it. Oh, there's there's some. Oh, this is cool, man. This is real cool. Got a couple um, thing. You can, I have to put these around my Altoids tins, which there's one in here. Oh, maybe that's got the. Oh, uh, let me hold on a minute. Let me. This is too much stuff, man. I didn't know it was gonna be all this. All right, it is beaver, beaver bushcraft, and there's some directions about the fire steel, which I'm I'm not going to read all those right now. Oh, oh, I'll have to do a whole separate thing about this. Yeah, it's a website, beaver bushcraft from England, and um, let's see. All right, I knew it was a team. Helen and Mark, suppliers of bushcraft gear. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Thanks, Judd, for the patch too, man. That's gonna look cool. I'll put it on, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something cool. All right, here, just check this out. Got a piece of flint. Oh good, there's already some char cloth in here. Oh. Alright, check out this flint striker, y'all. <laughs> There's some fancy thing right here now. A dragon. Oh, we fire it up right now. All right, am I in the am I in the frame here? Whoop! <laughs> well, it works. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Oh, field notes thing that's very cool oops can't have too many of these very cool ah man there's more stuff in here oh 
Oh, cool. Just a little leather wallet. You keep your driver's license, your debit card, and a couple bills in here. If you even have any bills, if you're like me, all you have is a debit card and a driver's license these days. Real cool, man. Thanks. That's real cool. That's awesome, man. Real cool. Let's have some coffee. You're digging this old stove, my old Coleman stove. Thank you again, Donna. Very cool. Ah. Very cool. Very cool stuff. I need to make some breakfast. I need to fry me up some bannock for Robert over at Bluegrass Bushcraft. I think maybe that's what I will do. May I make some bacon? I'm going to use my stove that Donna gave me to use to, to make some bannock and some eggs and some bacon for bluegrass bushcraft. <laughs> and I brought I brought that maple syrup too, cheese said Chris gave me. I'll put I'm gonna pour that on my bannock, eat it, I'm gonna let some of that maple syrup get down on my bacon too. Gonna be some good stuff. Although, uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to use my Blackstone. I I told those guys on the Hangouts, uh, my uh, Pacific Bushcraft Consortium, Consortium, Consortium. My brother's over there. I said, you know what? Everybody's got Blackstone except me. And then I remembered I had one before anybody. Ha <laughs> ha! I had the first one. Some of y'all have the same model. I'll show it to you. All right, so I moved over here to, to make my bannock. And what I have in here is three-fourths of a cup of flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, uh, about an eighth of a teaspoon of sugar, and about that, about that same amount of salt. And then I just mix it all together. Now, I've never fried this before. I, I've made it and I've baked it. I even wrapped it around a stick and cooked it on a campfire before. I'm not going to put all of it in. I want to want to save a little bit. I'm going to save just that much right there, you know, to put this spread out. And then I really don't know. I'm going to say about that much water. gonna let that sit for a while enjoy my coffee my Blackstone.
this side this side burns a lot hotter than this side so I'll just flip the black stone around keep, keep it uniform heat Got my bannock, got my bacon, got my eggs, got my maple syrup. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pour the, Texas peat. I put on my eggs. Got my coffee. I'm ready to eat. Mm, very cakey, like a like a mixture between a pancake and a biscuit. Can you see? It's good. I need a napkin. I can hear the cars. I can hear the cars going by a lot better now since they cleared off that land. Nah. That ain't very good. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I only got one little bite left. Trying to get the rest of all that syrup. Mm. Mm. Good stuff.
Well, I do want to say thanks for hanging out with me for a little while while I unboxed my my gift from Southman Bushcraft and got to use my stove that Donna gave me. That's Dream Adventures. Dream Adventures and Creations. Oh, I always get that mixed up. I'll put a link. I'll put a link down below though. And I uh, thanks Cheese for my for my uh, maple syrup. And um, hmm, am I forgetting some? I think I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, Robert for challenging me on the um, the bannock. I think. I think that's all. Anyway, see y'all next time. Bye.